What's going on and welcome back to another episode of Redefining Issued Equipment and in this video we're going to be going over how to set up the military issue or army issued flick for the machine gunner role. Now when it comes down to the setup and, setup and configuration I have this set up to kind of be the most cost effective or budget friendly setup and configuration. Uh, so that way you're saving as much money as possible. I do know that a lot of the guys in the National Guard as well as some conventional army guys are still running the flick system. I know for the most part it's been replaced with the tap system, but I do still see this very frequently, especially with National Guard guys and uh, them running this entire system. So I would highly recommend it. It's very inexpensive. If you check out Venture Surplus, they have a ton of this stuff that they're purchasing from military auctions and it does not cost a lot. I know for the most part, any one of these flick kits and setups is gonna cost you less than 200 bucks between the flick, the pouches, and then the belt setup if you wanna do the split system uh, with the flick belt and molly setup that you can just pull straight out of the flick. So it gives you some options, saves you some money, and gives you a good base to start off of and then progressively build from there over time. So with that, uh, without further ado, I'm going to dive right into this so that way you guys can see what this looks like from the ground up uh, and the uh, the flick base all the way up to uh, getting into the belt and setting everything up with that as well. So with that, you have your base flick here. You have the mesh molly portions, uh, your buckle and your center zipper, and then you have the core dura uh, portion of the flick with your molly. On the interior, you have these two pockets. Um, I usually set these up for administrative data, range cards, maps, uh, some navigating tools, and then uh, some med stuff if you can, um, and have that extra space in there. For the machine gunner specifically, I would highly recommend admin cards, um, some call for fire stuff if you need to, because sometimes you can get sucked into... Uh, relaying some information to the platoon sergeant. Um, I know when I was in Afghanistan, my platoon sergeant actually was, you know, very actively engaged with the machine gunner and the um, machine gun crew and all of that. And there were times that they would be listening to radio calls and helping with call for fire and all that stuff, depending on what was going on in that situation. So running your map, running a map, running your... Uh, admin cards, running uh, range cards and all that stuff is going to be good to have in here and then some extra medical supplies or the tools to be able to rapidly get that gun back into the fight in the event that it goes down. So uh, that's what I would recommend when it comes to the interior pockets of the flick system. Um, for the rest of it, I mean you have your drag handle on the back so that's kind of the only other component of this. but. Uh, when it comes to admin pouches, especially for the machine gunner, I would highly recommend going with the Eagle Industry or um, I guess some of the other companies that are making this pouch now uh, with the light so that way you have a light that's both red and white light capable that you can employ to be able to uh, do any work that you may need to do on the machine gun at night and uh, keep that low light signature down with that red light. and. Um, like I said, that gun goes down, you can pull that light out, figure out what's going on, and get that gun back into the fight as fast as possible. You also have two pockets on the interior of this for admin cards, range cards, and whatever else you may need as far as tools and little things to keep that gun into the fight. Uh, I know one thing that I would highly recommend that you run inside of this is gonna be some lubricant, so that way that when that gun gets hot, starts burning up some of that lubricant, you can re-lubricate especially if you start sending a couple hundred rounds at a time. So uh, with this kit, you're going to be able to run about 200 rounds of uh, 762 Link, uh, 400 rounds of 556 uh, if you're a saw gunner. Um, so saw gunner, you're going to have a little bit more with that 400 uh, 240 gunner or 762 gunner. You're going to only have about 200 rounds. So if you're that 7.62 gunner, you're definitely going to want to have a pack with some additional ammo in there or pass that off to your ammo bearer and your assistant gunner. So you have these Eagle Industry pouches right here. These things are nice when it comes down to it. Pretty simple, straightforward. I've got a review coming up for these guys here soon. I just got these and have been playing around with them. And 
I like them. They are a, a pretty decent and pretty well put together pouch. With that, outside of your uh, ammo pouches, I would have two general purpose pouches. One thing that you can do is you can spread those out and then open up this little bit of molly right here. Have your uh, multi-tool transferred from your belt, uh, like I typically have it on a belt system, uh, up to your flick. That's entirely up to you. Uh, I prefer keeping it on my belt just so that way if I have to ditch my kit, I still have my multi-tool to be able to you know, fix my rifle in the event that something happens. So I would leave it on my belt, but I do know some guys that would run it on their uh, kit as well. Uh, some guys that I knew that were machine gunners would also run a, G or a compass and a GPS up here as well. So that way uh, they had the ability to you know, orient themselves uh, from their fighting position or their overwatch position to whoever was taking contact. So uh, you can open these up. Uh, one thing that I would highly recommend you add to all these kits is cleaning rods. Just so that way in the event that you ever find yourself in a position where you need to you know, get some dirt debris out of your barrel. Um, you have a round that got stuck in the barrel. God forbid that were to happen in a gunfight. You have the ability to uh, punch all that out, or if you have some brass that's fractured in the chamber and gotten stuck, stuck and lodged in there, you can punch that out as well. So I haven't said that about any of or in the other videos, but that's definitely a kind of pro tip that I learned from when I first got in the military from both infantrymen and soft guys when I was just a young private have cleaning rod kit or have cleaning rod sections that you can put together and, and punch stuff out of your barrels uh, when that happens because it does happen and I've had it happen in training more than in real life thankfully but having those cleaning rod sections is is very critical for this setup and configuration for that machine gunner because that machine gun is going to be your most casualty producing weapon system on the battlefield for the most part and uh, you don't want that to go down and be completely taken out of the fight. So cleaning rods are a must. One thing that you can do is just do some hair ties right above your uh, belt pouches down here and then have those cleaning rods just sitting below your admin pouch and just above your, your ammo pouches. So when it comes to the belt, this will be pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, most guys that I knew that were a machine gunner had a pistol, so two pistol mag pouches uh, for your uh, pistol on your non-dominant side uh, you're probably not going to be running a rifle mag pouch so you can throw wherever whatever you want right there for that uh, pouch for you know lubricant is an option as well multi-tool med kit and then you have all this extra space for your holster and then any additional pouches that you may want to carry with you know equipment that is going to be essential for keeping that gun in the fight and keeping that machine gun sending rounds down range so I'll leave that completely up to you I knew one dude uh, that was a machine gunner a long time ago he would run some something like this horizontal pouch on his belt and just kind of shifted things around so that way you know I believe he ditched the rifle mag pouch multi-tool pouch went over med kit went over this sat a little bit more like right here and then he had his pistol over on the uh, on the far side so gives you some options when it comes to the overall setup and configuration of how you can set up the flick and the belt system that comes with it for the machine gun roll and uh, and filling that you know, critical position when it comes down to it. So with that, I really don't have anything else um, aside from, like all the other kits, when it comes to setting this guy up, I would recommend buying an aftermarket belt and taking this original belt and you know setting this up on the interior of the flick system so that way this will buckle uh, back behind you and keep that kit nice and tight to your kit as well as your body and then running an aftermarket belt that's going to just be a little bit more rigid and robust uh, and and be able to carry all the other equipment that you need with a lot more you know ease and efficiency but at the end of the day if you have to run this because you're required to run it this is how you can set it up uh, so that way you're setting yourself up for success and taking the fight to the enemy at the end of the day so I'll definitely have a video in the future of this kind of setup and configuration in action when I start uh, getting more into the machine gun stuff and finally get the RPD fixed up and up and running as well as uh, uh, looking at building a PKM for this uh, college program uh, with Sonoran Desert Institute. So if all of that works out and comes together, 
getting all of the licensing and stuff that I need to do to get all that stuff um, you'll definitely see this employed with a couple of different systems that are out there so with that if you have any questions please feel free leave a comment we'll help you out in any way that we can in answering those questions and helping you set up your kit and with that like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time